Today's topic is vertical text in OneNote pages. Have you ever wanted to add words going up and down on your page? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that. So stay with me. Well, hi, this is Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And today I am coming to you with a tip for how to have vertical uh, text in OneNote. There's a couple of ways that we're going to do this. So let's jump right in and get started. Well, as you can see here on my screen, this is my November monthly dashboard. Uh, where I have all of my important information stored. And one of the things that a few of you pointed out is you wanted to know how I get this vertical uh, zone information going up and down the side of my page. Okay. So I'm going to jump over to a clean page and I'm going to show you how I did that. All right. So here we are on a blank page and all I did simply was think about what I wanted that vertical text to look like. I knew I wanted zone one through five, and I had to think about if my zone was, uh, five was going to be at the bottom. Then when I typed it out, it needed to be first. So let me show you there's zone five. And then I did about five or six, um, spaces and zone four and so on and so on. Okay. Now from this position, I can, um, you know, format it any way I want. I can go up here and change the font. Maybe I want it something that's a little bit bolder that will stand out. So I can choose that. Maybe I want to change the color. Uh, I can go up here and let's change it to maybe a green like so, so it stands out. I can even change the size if I want to. Any of those formatting formatting options are available. Okay. So now I have that. What I can simply do from this point is I can make a copy of that copy and I can come down here below. Let's get out of that container. So I'll go over here to the side and I want to paste as a picture. So that is going to change those words from being a text box into a graphic. Now I know that it's a graphic because when I highlight it on it or when I click on it, I get those dots and dash lines. Okay. Now, you know, with any graphic, you simply can go down to rotate and we're going to rotate to the left. And now you see, I have zones five, four, three, two, and one on that side. Okay. Now, if I wanted to turn it the other way, uh, I would need to come in here and make these, uh, let's see, let me go over here and I'll show you just a regular paste. So it's still text that I can modify, but in this case, I would want zone five to be here and this to be four and this to be two and this to be one. Okay. And in this case, I'm going to flip it the other way. The process is the same. I'm going to make a copy of that. I'm going to paste it as a picture down here. And then I can simply go down to rotate and I can rotate to the right. And now you see, I have zone one at the top two, three, four, and five. Okay. So the only thing you really have to think about is how you want it to look, whether you want it to be, you know, to the left or to the right. Um, and that's how you put your numbers there. Okay. So you can see now when I go back to my November dashboard, how that would, let me just copy that and we'll take it with us. We'll copy and we go back to our November dashboard. And if I go over here to the side, I can paste like so. And then you can see how I could move that right into place if I wanted to. Okay. All right. And then from here, if you need to adjust the size, you can adjust the size of the graphic simply by grabbing it and pulling it. All right. Okay. So that's one way to do it. Uh, let's get that out of the way. 
Now, let's say you want to do something even fancier. Um, again, let me delete that. Let's say you wanted to do something even fancier. Maybe you liked all of the fancy word art, uh, or, you know, shadowing and all of that kind of thing. Well, in that case, what I would do is I would pop over to PowerPoint. So let's jump into PowerPoint and here in PowerPoint, I am in the planner design PowerPoint set that I use for, you know, all kinds of things. One of the last things that I made, uh, in this notebook was all of my little icons, um, and, you know, with the words below beneath them. And the concept here is the same. So I made this a graphic and then a text box, a graphic, and then a text box lassoed the whole thing together. And now you see that this is just one graphic. So these are all my like home tending, um, things. This is another graphic. You see all of them are now linked together so I can take these and use them in my notebook. Let me show you where they are in my notebook. They're on my weekly pages. So if you look here on my weekly page, you can see that I have those two things together. Okay. All right. Now back to PowerPoint to show you some of that word art. So on this blank screen here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to insert and not just a text box, but let's do some word art. Let's make it fancy. Um, I kind of like this, uh, drop shadow look here. So again, I can take this text and I can do zone five, zone four, zone three. And there we go. Okay. Now I kind of like that text art, but you know, again, you can play around with that if you want to, uh, just for demonstration purposes today, I'm going to leave it exactly the way it is. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, highlight all of that and I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to paste as a picture. Okay. Now I can take that same thing back to OneNote. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, let's do it on the blank page that we were working on, uh, down here. Okay. I can come here and I can paste as a picture and there you see zone, uh, all the zones are there. And then I can do the exact same thing. I can rotate it to the left and you can see. I can grab one of these corners and make it bigger or smaller depending on what I need. Okay. So if we want to kind of line it up like that, we can, whatever you can play with it. But now remember, because it is a graphic, I cannot go in here and change these words anymore. I would need to go back either to my original text box or to my original page on, um, PowerPoint. So let's say I wanted to change the, you know, the text color or something like that here in uh, PowerPoint, I could do that. Something like that. And again, then all I would need to do is copy, take it back into OneNote, paste as a picture. And there we have the change and then we can rotate. And there we have another graphic ready to go maybe for an additional month or something like that. Okay. All right. And again, I can resize it. Like so. Okay. All right. So it's that easy to be able to add, um, vertical text to your, um, notebooks. Uh, here, I just did very simple text. I didn't want it to stand out, but if it is something that you really want to stand out, you could use all the fancy word art that we have here. Okay. Changing your font uh, size and color really can make a difference. All right. Well, really that's all I have for you today. Adding vertical 
uh, text into OneNote can be a quick and easy thing to do. Um, if you have found this helpful or if you've learned anything or gotten any inspiration, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button uh, down below. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. Turn your notification bells all the way on so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. And until next time, here's hoping that you can live a more organized and simplified life through better planning. I use OneNote. Until next time. Okay. Bye.